Hi everybody. Welcome to Book of Erica. This is the place you can go to learn about all things bariatric surgery, pre-op, post-op, and life after complications. My name is Erica. If you're new here, I am a nearly 12-year veteran of the gastric bypass surgery. I had mine in June of 2009. I am not a medical professional at all. My goal here is to share with you uh, things that I've learned along the way so that you can go into your journey knowing a little bit more than I knew going into mine. So if that's the kind of information that you're looking for, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so that you know when I upload a new video. Today, we're gonna talk about multivitamins. Multivitamins are the number one thing that you need to be concerned with after bariatric surgery. So I've developed a list of things that I think are important to do preoperatively that are going to set you up for your best success as a post-op. Number one on that list is picking out your multivitamin and getting started with it. If you are interested in that list, I will leave a link to it below. That way you can get a PDF sent to you that's going to give you all of those steps. But I'm also going to be making a series of videos to kind of go into that a little bit and delve into it a little bit deeper. So multivitamins are number one because they are an absolute must. We're going to talk about why they're important, what to look for, and I'm going to share with you what I use. So what is the big deal about multivitamins? Most bariatric patients, um, specifically with malabsorptive ones, but pretty much all bariatric patients have some deficiencies after surgery. It could be due to malabsorption, it could be because your intake is limited. Either way, there's something that you're not getting that you need. And keeping those levels up is what's going to keep you healthy and feeling good as a post-operative person. That's what's going to make you feel good post-operatively. So you don't get the gray look, you don't get, you know, that, oh, I feel tired all the time feeling. Okay, you want to feel your best, you want to look your best, and the multivitamin is the number one key to getting you there. Correcting deficiencies is difficult sometimes and costly. Okay, deficiencies can put you in the hospital, they can damage your organs, they can do all sorts of things. It's just bad. So even though finding a multivitamin that's going to meet the minimum requirements that you need can be expensive, it is less expensive than infusions or hospital stay. And it's a lot less invasive. What should you look for in your multivitamin? Okay. Your dietitian in your bariatric surgeon's program is going to give you a list of what he or she wants in your multivitamin. And it's going to be like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin K, niacin, B12, like all these things. It's, it's going to be this long list of what he or she wants you to have. And whatever they are giving you on the day of your surgery is the most current information that they have their hands on at this point. And that's important for you to know because you can go on the internet and you can research this stuff and you might find whatever the current research was back when I had mine done. Um, but that's a decade old information. So it may not be accurate according to what the studies are showing now when they've had more time to study some of these newer surgeries. So always, always, always go with what your bariatric surgeons program tells you first and foremost. Okay. You want something that at least meets the recommended guidelines, but I would try to find something that exceeds it just slightly. And that way you're just that much better off, but they will be specific about certain types of things that you need to have because they absorb better. Stick to that. I kind of poo pooed that away a little bit at times. That is important. Certain types of things digest differently than others. And given whatever type of surgery that you had, you may or may not be able to digest the supplement that you bought. So it's very important that you pay attention to what they're telling you and that you stick to it. Now, keep in mind that your body is going to process things much, much differently after surgery than it does before. So especially if you're doing liquids and chewables, if you're not careful about the sugar, um, even some of the flavors, you may not be able to do after the surgery. So just keep that in mind. Don't be surprised by it. 
but I do recommend that you find something that works for you for the moment. Sugar-free is probably best. <laughs> it's probably the safest option if you want some continuity after surgery. If you can find something that is specifically made and manufactured for bariatric patients, my personal feeling is that's going to be your best bet because those people are already using the most soluble, digestible versions of all of these vitamins and minerals that we need. And some of these sites even have it broken down into this is what somebody needs if they've had the sleeve. This is what somebody needs if they've had the bypass. This is what somebody needs if they've had the duodenal switch. They will cater to what each surgery needs. So it, it pays sometimes to look at what they're doing. As with everything, chewables and liquid are always gonna be best. It's hard on your pouch for things to sit in there and break down. So chewables and liquids are gonna absorb better and be less irritated on your system. Now, I had some pretty serious problems with my supplements following my surgery, like immediately following. Um, I tried chewables and they made me violently ill. Some of them had sugar, some of them didn't. Uh, for whatever reason, I just couldn't. Or they were super chalky, like Tums. <laughs> like for a preoperative person, that's the closest thing I can come to is if you don't like Tums, think Tums with bitter flavor. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I would avoid taking them because it was nasty and I couldn't stand it. I did take Flintstones chewables for a while. Uh, my surgeon said something was better than nothing. And if that's what I had to resort to, I could, but they they're not catered to the types of things that we need. So it's hit or miss whether or not you're actually absorbing that stuff. Postoperatively, I ended up taking Bariatric Advantages capsules. Um, I don't have a bottle to show you because I stopped taking those last year, but they were the same size as what I'm taking now. So I'll just go ahead and show you what that looks like. But they were the same size as what I'm taking now. And I had to take six of them a day to get the minimum recommended guidelines in. This is the size, okay? So compared to my hand, it's not very big. Um, I'm trying to think of a medicine that's about this size. I guess it's about the size of an antibiotic. Maybe not quite as big, but um, six of those a day on top of everything else <laughs> that I needed to take. And so to be able to afford them, I was actually only taking half of the recommended value, which I don't recommend. You want to take as much of the vitamins as you can because deficiencies are no joke. Um, in between the two, I ordered Celebrate uh, chewable vitamins and I'll put links to these that I'm mentioning below. I'm not currently an affiliate of any of these, but if I become one, they may be affiliate links. And what that means is that if you click the link and purchase the product, I would get a small commission, but it's not going to cost you anything. Like I said, I'm not currently an affiliate. I just want to throw that in there in case as a disclaimer, just in case one day I become an affiliate. Now these chewables are not Flintstone chewables. Okay. They are humongoid. Let me see if I can, maybe if I get out. From, okay. They're huge. They're like the size of a nickel, but they're that thick. <laughs> okay. And yeah, they smell grody. Very chalky. If I had to take them, I will, which is why I still have the bottle, but most of the bottle is still here because yeah, I'm not going to take something that's gross and that makes me feel queasy. Just not. But this is like a massive, really, really strong Flintstones vitamin. Okay. But it is made specifically for bariatric patients. I'll go ahead and give you the label. And then those were really hard on me. So I was like, okay, I need to find something. And they had just come out with Bariatric Choice Once Daily Bariatric Multivitamin 
with 45 milligrams of iron. Now, about the same time, I was having a very sudden onset of severe anemia. Like, for those who don't know what your iron level should be, mine was five. <laughs> like, it was bad. And I had to go and get lots of infusions of iron, which I ended up allergic to. I've never had anaphylactic shock until they had to give me iron. That was the scariest thing I've ever witnessed in my life. So don't put yourself in that position. Just make sure that whatever you're taking has some iron in it. Like, mm. And what's bad is my iron levels have always been on point. Always. I've had deficiencies in other things, but iron was always good. What happened was I donated blood. <clears throat> so something to keep in mind if you're a bariatric patient. You might want to be careful about donating blood. So this is what I take now. It is the bariatric choice once daily multivitamin with iron in it. Um, okay, so there you go. I'll go that way with it so you can kind of see what's in it. It's got all kinds of stuff. It's in the most soluble forms for bariatric patients. I highly recommend it. And like I said, it's not that big one time a day. That is awesome. Now, I realize it's not a chewable and it's not a liquid. I will continue to look for those options, but until I find something, this is what I'm going to take. And it makes me feel so much better. And it's much better than having to take six a day. Just saying. Just a word of caution. If you do decide to do something that's capsules, they sit in your pouch. They do irritate your stomach lining. They do irritate your intestines to a degree. So there's going to be some discomfort to go with that. You have to make the best decision for you. It's a, in my opinion and in my experience, it's been a small price to pay to keep me out of the hospital. My bariatric surgeon did tell me that even postoperatively, Flintstones is better than nothing. Okay, so if you're having trouble while you're searching for something that works, make sure you're taking something. Something is better than nothing at all. So take them if you have to. Make sure you talk to your surgeon about it. But something is better than nothing. So the high points of the multivitamin topic are they're essential to keep you healthy and you're going to feel better if you find one and you stick to it and you take it religiously. Make sure that whatever you use is bariatric friendly. That is a no-brainer. Just make sure that it's made so that you can benefit from it. And number three, always, always, always use your dietitian's recommendations as the minimum requirements for whatever supplement you choose. Do your research, start them preoperatively so that you are at the absolute best of health when you become a postoperative patient. You're going to set yourself up for long-term success. Again, if you'd like that list of my eight pre-op steps for post-op success, go ahead and hit that link that's in the description box and I will send that to you. There will be a series of videos to delve into it a little bit deeper, but that'll kind of give you the overview. And my question of the day is, what multivitamin do you use? Go ahead and leave that in the comment box below and maybe some people that are shopping for vitamins will find new options to research. Until next week, you all have a great day.